Hi, my name is Dale Purvis. I'm a professor of neurobiology and I'm going to be teaching a course in this fall semester called Music as Biology. It's listed as Neuroscience 290 as a special topics course. Music has been considered since the time of Pythagoras in ancient Greece as mathematics and as physics since the time of Galileo and his father in the 16th and 17th century discovered that uh, tones come from the vibration of objects. Thinking about music as biology, however, is a relatively new idea and the premise of this course is that thinking and understanding musical issues in these terms is going to be a better way to get at the, the basic characteristics that we know and love in music. The kinds of issues that I'm going to be talking about in this course and that we're going to be discussing is the perception of sound stimuli in the first place, why in particular we human beings have developed a sense of tonality, why um, music is so closely tied to speech and language, how this explains uh, musical scales. We have very few scales out of the billions that are uh, possible, why different scales evoke different uh, emotions, uh, how biology uh, accounts for consonance and dissonance, and how the speech and language of different cultures affects the tone music of those cultures. These issues have been debated for millennia uh, in some cases uh, and the thesis of the course is that these kinds of problems, these challenges, are going to be better understood in terms of biology, the mathematics, or physics. No particular background is required uh, for the course. It's going to be taught as background and video lectures and uh, class time devoted to discussion and the presentation by students of papers. If you're a person like me who's been fascinated by the challenges that these musical uh, issues present, then you may want to take uh, the course. No particular background uh, is required, but of course I'll assume that anybody who takes the course has got some deep interest in music.